Welcome back to Wise Hacker Plays. Uh, we're now starring in a sitcom. Though not literally in game, but the production quality will probably be the same anyway. Okay, pots, pans, plates, everything. Welcome to Cooking Without Looking, the cooking show for the typical bachelor kitchen, containing no fruits, vegetables, or healthy ingredients of any sort. The show where we take a random assortment of condiments and barely edible items and create a meal within minutes. Filling in for Chuck Flagon this week, these guys. Just go with it. Oh, um, hello. Welcome to the show. Thanks, Sam. It's great to be here. Not you, you. Ed, the audience. Oh, greetings, worshipful fans. Remember, the only reason I'm on TV is because I'm better than you. We've got some furious cooking to do, so let's get right to it. What are we making, Sam? We're making a delicious casserole. Let's just go to our trusty ingredient rack and select some savories for our all-purpose thingamawatsit. It's a pot, Sam. Sure it is, little buddy. And you're a kettle. Every chef has a signature ingredient that no one has ever heard of or used. Mine's MSG. If you put in enough that you feel a burning sensation in the back of the neck, forearms, and chest, you're just about there. Uranium pellets. Make sure to include red dye number two. If there's not at least some possibility of malignant tumors, it's not real bachelor cooking. Now do we broil it, Sam? Right you are, little buddy. Into the oven it goes. And through the magic of TV cooking show time. Ta-da! You've successfully perverted the laws of God and man. Oh boy, let's take it with us. Who's never gonna be a millionaire? Pretty much most of us, sadly. Look, Max, there's the door to Myra's set. Let's get in there and liberate her literally captive audience. Sam, forget the hostages. There's somebody famous. It's Hugh Bliss. Who Bliss? No, Hugh Bliss. Inventor of prismatology? Help millions unlock the power of their personal color spectrums? Right. The stage magician turned happiness guru. Like we didn't have enough of those already. Oh. I wanna meet him. Fine. But if he magically pulls another rainbow butterfly out of somebody's ear, I'm leaving. Hi, Hugh Bliss. Hi, I'm Hugh Bliss. Yeah, we know. And you are Sam and Max, freelance police. <gasps> How do you know? Do you believe in magic? Cause I do. I don't know what this guy's on, but it must be some strong stuff. So, Hugh Bliss, what brings you to WARP? I too am here to meet Myra. <gasps> How do you know we came for Myra? Oh, 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 <laughs> oh, don't you see? I can read your mind. As the resident Doubting Thomas of this crime-fighting duo, I consider it my civic duty to say, prove it. Okay, think of something, anything. Hmm. 6,373,411.98. Sam? Lucky guess. Was it? Think of something else. Can I, oh, I can't. Hugh Bliss is a big fat charlatan! Was he right? Big deal. Everyone thinks that. Oh? Think of something else. <laughs> Pennies on the eyes of a dead mime! Well? I must have been silently mouthing the words. Really? Think of something else. <laughs> Enough of this ridiculous farce! Stop it. <laughs> do me! Do me! Oh, oh my, and that's unspeakably depraved. Yeah, you got it. Wow, you're amazing. What's your business with Myra? I'm to be a guest on her show, silly. Yeah, silly. I'm spreading the word about my new book, Emetics, the handbook for multicolored happiness. Take a copy when you leave. Can you just give us the 10-word summary instead? 
We're on a pretty tight schedule. Ten words. Oh my. How about prismatology is the answer. Unicorns are pretty and rainbows too. That's ten. Dazzle us with a feat of ledger domain, why don't you? Okay, I'll show you the magic of prismatology in action. Pick a color, any color. Ochre, ochre, no, mauve. It's Birds gonna be yeah. green. Uh, how about a color I've heard of, hmm? Pick a color, as long as it's red, green, or blue. It's not easy being green. Oh, but it is with magic. <laughs> ah. I know what you're thinking. Is it real or is it illusion? Say, Hugh Bliss, can we get a picture with you for our scrapbook of instantly forgettable memories? Splendid idea. I wish I'd thought of it. Oh, and in fact, I did. He, hence the camera. Now gather round. But how will you take the picture? I magic. Okay. Say, chocolate-covered puppies! Chocolate-covered chocolate -covered puppies. puppies! So where's the picture, Magic Man? Oh, my. I seem to have misplaced it. <gasps> hmm, check your pockets. Maybe I left it there. <laughs> I've played this game before, but already that laugh is starting to creep me out. Sorry to interrupt your little joy fest, but I've got a situation here. Never fear, pretty lady. Hugh Bliss is here. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> our game show host went on Myra hours ago, and he still hasn't come out. Think you can fill in till he gets back? Can a butterfly fly? Yes, it can. Oh, what do I do? When a contestant comes to the podium, just read him a question from the card. Then, when he gets it wrong, insult him and tell him to get off the stage. Oh, no, no. Prismatology teaches us to love everyone, no matter what. Right, I... just read the cards. Okay. I still love you. <sighs> Can I grab a book? Life troubling your digestion? Reac Already got a copy. I read it every morning on the can. Multicolored happiness indeed. Okay, go to the podium. We've got a contestant, people! Hit it! From somewhere deep within the bowels of WARP, it's Who's Never Going to Be a Millionaire? With special guest host, Hugh Bliss. Hi, I'm Hugh Bliss. Our first contestants are a pair of professional freelance police officers. They enjoy firing their guns randomly and running over things. Please welcome Sam and Max. Listen, Sam, they love us! Welcome! You know the rules. If you can answer even one question correctly, you'll walk away a millionaire! Start loading the armored cars, Hugh, because my brain's stuffed with enough worthless trivia to power a small Chilean village for decades. It's true! Okay, are you ready? Oh, happy day. It's an easy one! If a man sets out from the Horsehead Nebula in a spaceship traveling at thrice the speed of light and his father leaves from Rigel 2 at the same time going half the speed, how many nanoseconds will it be before time paradox causes the first man never to have been born? Oh, oh very funny. <laughs> I'm gonna go with my gut and say, Hugh Bliss. I'm flattered, but no, that is completely wrong. You lose! This is an outrage. I demand a recount. We do have a fabulous consolation prize. A copy of Emetics by me, Hugh Bliss. No thanks. I'm content to leave with just my burning shame and newfound sense of inadequacy. Okay. Find out which poor schmuck will be the next to blow his chance at millions right after these messages. Okay, game show questions. Apparently, WARP can't afford armed guards for their game show questions. That's cheating, Sam. Good thinking. Don't get your pretty long ears in a twist, little buddy. The answers aren't on here. In life, 
There are no answers. Only questions. Another prismatology credo? No, I read that in a cereal box. I'm seriously deficient in riboflavin, by the way. You're seriously deficient, all right. <laughs> Who was Fred and Barney's alien friend on the Flintstones? Great kazoo! Okay, we got the photo, uh, so gonna break out of here, quite literally, and get that photo to uh, Sybil. Uh, oh wait, I have the cards now, so can I pick it up? Nah. I just don't see how you can sing and be a judge. Huh? I don't think the public Wrong door. can follow that. Hey, Sam, do my eyes deceive me, or are those our formerly hypnotized former child star acquaintances, the soda poppers? Sweet jellyfish paste on a stick, you're right. What are the odds? Did we find another judge? What about one of those guys? Hmm, I don't suppose either of you would be interested in being a judge on Embarrassing Idol, the hot new show where we make uncomfortable entertainment out of people's misplaced faith in their own singing ability. Oh, so no different from America's Got Talent, then. I'll be completely unbiased in my abuse of the contestants. Fine, fine. Take a seat. Goody! I get to sing! Welcome back to Embarrassing Idol. The judges are chomping at the bit, so say hello to our first contestant, Peepers. <coughs> Am I blue? Who are you? Can I fly? Well, that was a bit sloppy, but I particularly liked how you hit that high note. That always impresses me. I think you'll get my vote. I'm definitely voting for you. After all, you are my brother. Very impressive. You sound almost exactly like a sick cat being dragged through rusty farm machinery. But this is a singing contest, so I think I'll have to vote for someone else. Um, is there anyone else? Not so far. Yay! Hmm, can I borrow those cards for a moment? Can I look at these? Sure, take them! I've got them memorized! Am I blue? Who are you? Can I fly? Very impressive. It's not coughing, but let's go win a million dollars. Okay, where's Hugh? Oh wait, is he... Can't run inside? Yikes! Oh, no, oh. hold on. Oh, oh, why is that? Okay, that was the right room anyway. Oh! Perfect fit. Come on, Hugh. There you are. Hi, Hugh Bliss. Hi, I'm Hugh Bliss. I challenge you to change colors again. Okay, pick a color. Any color. Do blue, Hugh. Oh. Bye. We've got another contestant. Hit it! Welcome back. Our next contestants are these guys again. Okay, are you ready? Hmm. The question is, 
Am I blue? Yes, you, <laughs> yes, you are. Well, what do you know? That's absolutely right! Yes. Congratulations! You're a millionaire! We're rich! Filthy rich! We just went bankrupt, so we will not be back after these messages. <laughs> I don't believe it. Well, this is awkward, but we don't actually have a million in cash. Sweet mother of all quiz show scandals. We'll have to give you a million dollars worth of food stamps. They're right over there. <laughs> Hold on. Can you buy deep fried licorice ropes with food stamps? We'll take it. One, two, no. three, 174, 175, 999,999, and a million. Let's go spend it, Sam. It's burning a hole in my pocket. It's putting quite a bulge in mine. Wouldn't it be hilarious if a game show actually did add out the prize that they could put afterwards? <laughs> oh, that's what I was looking for! The poker table! Yay! Okay, but... Okay, how do I... How do places do I get out? Oh, director, can I get... Can we take five? The Screen Actors Guild will break my knuckles if I say no, so go ahead. Ouch. Okay, yeah. Oh, please, someone tell me, how do I get out? Oh, phew, there's the exit. Hang on, that stage wasn't there when I arrived. But at least I'm out of here now. To quote a certain internet meme, I'm about to end someone's career. Who goes there? Oh, it's you lot. Oh my god, that's gonna get grating very quickly. We want to buy something. Quite so! We come bearing one million American dollars. Now hand over the voice modulator. Blimey! Food stamps? Well, I suppose I must accept them. Bolded Dash government conspiracy. It's hogwash! Complete card swallow! Here then is your chemical based voice modulator. This is a helium balloon strapped to an inhaler. But it works! Trust me, trust me. Holy chipmunk, Ari is warbling out of a souped-up 78-speed turntable. It works! Thanks, Bosco! <laughs> Could add some fun and put silver hexafluoride in it. And... Okay, what's he got in here now that the tapes are gone? Worst. You want some? Absolutely not. Yep, I'm out, I'm out. Never mind the wheelies. I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. I am here, so I probably could just give Sybil that photo. Sam, this is perfect. This photo is a capstone. It succinctly summarizes over 30 years of extraterrestrial related photographic evidence. Sybil, that photo is a hoax. Exactly. I couldn't have asked for better. Now I can print the paper. Oh boy. Available at newsstands now. The TV station. Uh, actually, newsstands. Let's see. Did they actually change the newsstands nearby Bosco's? <laughs> oh, yep, they have. There it is right there. We're famous. Hooray! Can we begin misbehaving now? Begin? He's right. He doesn't have to be famous to misbehave. 
Where are we going, Sam? The TV studio. Goody! It's polite to knock. You do know we're taping a show here. Great day in the morning. It's Myra Stump herself! Yourself. Can we come in and see the show? Can you? Don't you mean... Uh, may we come in and see the show? That's much better. No, we're at full capacity. The only people getting in now are famous people who are appearing on the show. Hmm, famous? I'm gonna go get my autograph book. We'll... It's too nice to... And you should stop making that face, dear. It'll stick if you're not careful. What face? Eh. Okay. No can do. Whee! Director? Oh, I already tried, but... Are you talking? See you later. That's a wrap. <clears throat> oh, it's... I shouldn't fool with the set while we're not taping the show. So honestly, that's simple. Pick up the plate, then... Okay, I'm just gonna run with it and see what happens. Let's have another go at that scene, shall we? See if you can squeeze in some gross out humor this time. Yeah, yo, I think everyone can guess where this is going. I won't spoil it, but I think you can guess where it's going. What's on the floor in the cat's phrase? I know you're hiding Goodness, who now. left this lying here? Okay. Let there be light. Don't think that door was on a timer. All right, I know you've got. A oh, for pity's sake! This will never work if you're not even going to try to disguise the cow. Yep, Cut. there was a timer. <sighs> Let's get. Let's have another. Don't forget. Open up in there. I know you're hiding. Let there be now. light. Kind of funny how it's being presented from a TV screen, but it clearly there shows that keeping to the, the old games the ratio. Aha! I know you've got a. Well, 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 who's your guest, boys? This is the French chef we hired to satisfy our in- And frog's leg. Oh, I went to gay court. Goodness, who left this long? Say, what's this? Uh, I'm sorry, what was that you said? He said Mugu Gai Pan. It's a French dish the chef has just made. Whoa, super. I'll try some of that. Where's the plate? I can't help but feel this is all terribly wrong somehow. Interesting. That's one word for it. Hmm. There's a familiar flavor. Fennel, maybe? Kentucky bluegrass, I think. This moo moo whatever stuff is really good. Uh, what's it called in English? Cow pie. Really? Well, that's funny. It sounds just like. <laughs> Now? Now. <clears throat> Better get the serious 
toothpaste. Zoom in. And cut. Ew. That was comic gold. The network is going to love it. Naturally. I'll be in my dressing room refreshing my muse. Don't call me for at least an hour. Nice work, you guys. Here's a clip for your reel. Thanks. <sighs> Let's get the set back the way it was. Okay, and on that tasty and delicious note, I'm gonna wrap up wrap up this video. Thank you all for watching, and if you really like what you saw, please like and subscribe. It's still appreciated if you just watch anyway. And next time on the <coughs> the words are they? Next time on Wise Hacker Plays, hopefully something hopefully something with a bit more taste. <laughs> and I'll, and I'm done now with the puns. Bye.